Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert an image and then we're going to trace over it and draw it to scale to draw an elevation. Um, you might use this if you need to show a house in a street view or something like that. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Let's just close this window. All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to open up our image manager. So we type the letters I and M and press space or enter. Now here we'll have a little icon. So it says attached drawing at the moment, but next to that there's a little arrow. So left click on that and we'll go down to attach image and left click. Now it's going to ask us for um, where our image is saved. So let's go there. And so here's my image. And then let's click OK or open, should I say. And now on this page, it's going to ask where you want to insert it. So if we have this ticked, it'll ask us for a place to insert it. Or if we untick it, it'll just move the image to 0, 0, 0. So that's up to you what you want to do there. Uh, I'm going to leave it on uh, specify on screen. Uh, the scale, again, says specify on screen. Um, it doesn't really matter at the moment because we're going to scale it anyway. So you can leave that as whatever you like. And we'll just leave the rotation as is. So I click OK. So I just left click. And now it's going to ask you for a scale. And I can just press Enter. And you can see the image is very small. We can, uh, you can double click your middle mouse button or to, to zoom in. Or you can type ZE to the zoom extends. Now we have a very ugly house here, but uh, what we're going to do with this house is we're going to uh, trace it to work out the heights of the, the building, um, even if we have measured them. So this is an Australian house and these bricks here, uh, I know what the dimension of the, they are. So I can then use that information to then determine the heights of everything else and the width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on one of these bricks and I'm going to try to draw a polyline. So I'll type PL or polyline, press enter or space, left click there. I've got my ortho on, left click and left click. All right, I'm going to press space. So now what I know for this, this brick height will be, that will be 76 millimeters high and it'll be 230 millimeters wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that line and I'm going to select my image. I'm going to sc scroll back in here. I'm going to left click that one of the grips. So it's now a hot grip. Now, if you look down here in the little command bar, when I press the space bar, it's going to scroll through. So now it says move, rotate, and scale. So that's what we want. So we're going to type R, which is reference. Press space or enter. Um, so we're going to, what we're doing here is we're telling uh, we're going to tell AutoCAD what the current scale is. So uh, I didn't measure that. So what I can do is is ask me for a reference length. Is I can just click on the starting point, and then I can click on the end point, and then AutoCAD automatically determine whatever that length was. Now it's going to ask me for the new um, scale. So I'm going to type 230 because I know that this brick is 230 millimeters wide. So I press space or enter. And now that will be to scale. So that's quite a handy little trick. So all we can do is we can just, uh, you know, trace, trace over this. It's going to be a little bit out because of the photo and the way the photo is taken. But I'll know that generally speaking, it'll, it won't be super accurate, like, uh, but it's, it might be good enough for your purposes, depending on what you're doing. Um, if you actually are going to be building, uh, your own home, um, you know, you, you might be worth paying for a, a land, a land surveyor to come and come and do it for you. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see how that, how that works. So just using a simple thing like a, that we do know the height of, we, we can then determine that. So, um, so we've got, in terms of the height of the bricks, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So that's 26 bricks. So I'm gonna draw a line from here to here. And I'm gonna open up my calculator. Bring that down here, okay. So 26 bricks 
And in this case, I'm going to times it by, I said the brick height is 76, and that's the brick, but we've also got these mortar joints too, and they're 10 millimeters. So I'm going to times it by 86. And that's what the height should be, 2236. So let's just use the dimension uh, tool here. Oop, uh, sorry, distance tool. So D-I-S-T. I'm going to click on here to here. And we've got 2215. And so look, that's not too bad. It's uh, well, out by just, um, what have we got there? For, uh, about 20, 21 millimeters if I've worked that out correctly. So that's not really a lot. Um, so you can see that this method actually works quite well. Now, if you don't have something like a brick on a building, you can, um, perhaps if you might have the ability to measure something else that you can then use as a reference point. So either standing in front of, um, you know, of, of, of the building when you take the, uh, the photograph and then you can use the height of yourself to roughly determine the heights of things. Um, it's always based on something that you do know the height of. And um, it's going to close something for a moment. Uh, okay. And in this case, I look. I don't know what the height of this van is, um, but if I did, I, I could, I could, I could, you know, measure this height. Let's just scale it here. It'll be roughly to scale. Oh, D I S T. So let's say twenty three eighty five. So I could take that line, then, um, and roughly work things out. It's not as simple though. I mean, if you got things right up against the wall, that's one thing because you got to allow for the distance too and a bit of distortion from you know perspective and things like that. But for for rough sort of ideas, uh, you know, it can really really help doing it this method. Uh, I might do some other videos later on ways to approach this without knowing perhaps the having something like a brick as a reference point. Uh, but that is very always very very handy to have a something. And uh, even if you just uh, are able to just measure even just one side of a wall on something like that, that can really really help uh, with determining this. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and click on the little icon uh, with the bell so you get notified of any new. Uh, tutorials that I do and if you have anything that you'd like me to perhaps look at um, please feel free to leave them in the comments or send me an email all right so um, thanks for watching